trench warfare strikes against specific Russian targets inside occupied territory and full frontal assaults against weakened Russian positions where supply chains, command and morale are all suffering right now. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is refusing to lose this war with Russia. He's even taking his battle plans to world leaders, soliciting their support and the funds to win this fight. And the CIA now digging into the dark web, launching this new video campaign to try and recruit disaffected and weary Russians to flip on Putin and share secrets with the U.S. government. So will new spies and international support give Ukrainians what they need as a spring offensive looms more than a year into this invasion? Ukrainian parliament member and leader, Golos political party, Kira Ruddick joins us once again and has for the past year. So Kira, you know, have you seen any immediate support or development since your president met with all those global leaders from the UK to France, even the Pope? Hello, Kira, thank you so much for having me. Yes, indeed, we have heard what we needed to hear. And the most important is the movement uh, in terms of supplying us with the fighter jets. So we've got the agreement that our pilots will be training on the fighter jets. And as we remember from uh, putting together tanks coalition, this is the first step before we will get the decision that finally our country will receive the F-16 fighter jets that we critically need to strengthen our defense and make sure that we uh, have domination in the skies at the battlefield. So this has, of course, been a point of contention with, with our president here in the United States. Who's agreed to the F-16s and the training, Kira? Well, Britain agreed that they will provide the training. They did not say yes to F-16s yet, but we understand that, again, it's a matter of step-by-step uh, -step persuasion. And the same way as nobody believed that we will get anywhere with the tanks coalition, we started with training of our soldiers, and finally we received the tanks. Right now, we're starting with the training of our pilots, and we hope that uh, soon we will receive the fighter jets. Well, as you know, that air war could really change things uh, for Ukraine and, and your fighters. So let me ask you, what do you think of this new CIA video trying to recruit Russians that are frustrated with Putin and this war to actually become spies and work underground with the CIA? Well, I think uh, nobody has a very good idea on what would happen with Russia when they lose the war. We truly believe that they will lose the war. We are working every single day to make sure that this will happen. However, the question is what would happen with Russia and how Russian people would live, what would happen with their leadership. And uh, this attempt by CIA is just trying to switch Russian public and public opinion and uh, figure out who can help them to overthrow the government. However, I can tell you from our personal experience, for the first couple of months of the full-scale invasion, we intensively were working with Russian auditory, trying to persuade them and show them what's going on. And it did not have the impact that we thought. Uh, it, uh, I think in the era of the internet, everyone could see what's going on for real. And if people do not react and do not go on the streets to uh, protest to their government, then they physically and they really agree with what is going on, with what their government is doing. And mm. uh, what Russia is doing, they started the major war of the 21st century, killing thousands of people uh, and uh, committing all the atrocities that uh, are on the war crimes list. Yeah, we, we've been wondering, too, how effective this uh, new campaign could be and if indeed, you know, disaffected Russians really would work with the CIA to bring about intelligence that, that would help and, and uh, turn others against Putin within this war. So we'll, we'll definitely keep monitoring it. It's an interesting story, for sure, an interesting effort. Meanwhile, you've got China now, right, that's tried to play peacemaker throughout the conflict, so it seems, sending its first special representative to Ukraine yesterday. Kira, do you trust China? Well, honestly, we have not uh, heard anything uh, particular about um, the visit of the Chinese representative. And we see that the Chinese peace plan, it does not um, cover the key and main issue that is important for us.
And this issue is we need Russian soldiers out of our territories and we need Russia to stop the war. You see, for the last two days, Kyiv was under attack. There were massive attacks where best Russian missiles were trying to destroy uh, best U.S. missile systems, the Patriot missiles. They failed, showing that uh, Russian technologies, Russian weapons are much weaker. And if we get enough of the weapons, enough of the supplies, we can win the war and we will win the war. And this is what we are trying to achieve here. And what China is trying to persuade for the peace plan, for some agreement, uh, I think it is useless at the matter of uh, no peace is possible while Russian soldiers are on the territories. Kira Reddick, always good to check in with you. Appreciate it. Thank you and glory to Ukraine. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.